Right, I'm just going to do another small video. One day, when I will go down that route, but there's a crossing path for a massive wild herd once, so I came back. It was dodgy, but they're all up that end at the moment. But I'm not doing that today. I'm heading. I'm going. I've got. I've still got a long way to go, actually. But I've just worked out coming through that wood a nice little walk. And there's another walk that would lead me back down to Cheddar, which I haven't explored yet. So there's always plenty to discover. And over there we've got, uh, in the distance, we've got Brent Knoll. There's Brent Knoll, should be coming into view now. There it is. My reference points when I'm out in the Somerset countryside. And the ponies are all over there. They can come in here, but they've probably all been fed some hay. They're over there. Then we've got the Mendips again. The Wyler Station. Roadborough Fort. Roadborough Warren. Right over there. The Hill Fort will be beyond. Crook's Peak, of course, over there as well. And then I've got this beautiful little lane. Oh, when I first came across it, I fell in love with it. But I've come down here when it's been nice and hot, sunny. There's been all sorts of flowers in bloom. The warm sun has been on me. The warm sun is on me now, actually. Um, that's one of the reasons I come out today. Because they said it was going to be okay. There's a nice old Somerset wall hidden in there. Look, you don't often see it in the summer. And there's... um home of probably a fox down there or a rabbit even as an escape route so this is an old drove it's probably been around for hundreds of years where the farmers would fetch their animals and um, go and feed them from this old drove it's taking me towards um, the slights up here in a minute That's, um, I can't actually get on that bit of mound there. Well, you probably can. But so there's often a herd up there. But there's probably the sort of time where you could get in there and explore that in the winter when the, when the bull isn't around and the, the wild cows. I've done quite well. I've managed to... I was lucky because the cows were being fed hay. They'd moved along quickly from a path that I had to use. So they'd gone far ahead of me. Um, but I had to climb over a fence to get into another field, which included getting over barbed wire. And then I ended up, there's some, lots of little settlements everywhere here. Little shepherd settlements. Yeah, you can feel the ghosts of the people when you're there. In the, that was somebody's home back there. I, I've taken lots of photos and I did a video a minute ago. That was, somebody lived there, you know. We're walking in the footsteps of the ancestors. It is so true. Not literally, I'm not talking about necessary blood ancestors, but they're human, they were around. So they're, they are ours in many ways. We're still connected to them. Yeah, I love this place. I really do. I had to get out. I needed to get out. Um, I'm studying a lot at the moment. I'm studying Hadrian's Wall. I'm studying um, how identifying dead bodies, forensics. And I'm doing a molecular biology chemistry thing on um, DNA and different uh, procedures used to identify diseases. <sighs> Yeah, I'm busy. I've got things to do. You don't give up just because you're retired and you're not, you're not dead. There's such a lot you can do. You don't have time to do when you're working. I mean, I mean, I did. I used to have done. Um, I've got three degrees. Um, I didn't work when I was doing the first degree, but the second two I was working, and I had a young family. I had children to look after as well. So it's my brain needs to be stimulated. Um, I think I think that is part of the answer to keeping the memory loss at bay. If you don't give the brain something to do, it will um, vegetate. What a lovely scene this is! Look, I know the wall's broken there, but it gives you a view of the 
of the wall. In fact, I think I've climbed through there in the past. Uh, look at that with Crook's Peak over. Let me just zoom in on Crook's Peak a minute. So that's the type of walk I can still do even in the winter, Crook's Peak. This is, I'm going quite far really. I don't know whether I'd be able to walk back to Cheddar. I don't know if there'll be time. Well, I'm going over towards the pretty area. And um, there's a bit of the walk over there that I want to explore that I never had time chance to because of because of cows and there's still some herds are uh, that are out you know but after being chased I've explained it all in the past I do avoid them if I can I really do or I keep as close to a wall as I can so I can get over it because believe me last year I had to get over a wall very quickly they were upon me within seconds right over and out this is Sheila I think it's the 28th of November 2016 and I'm on up in the Somerset Hills enjoying the beautiful Somerset countryside. It's absolutely gorgeous here, it really really is. Um, I'm hoping one day I might have a little dog to bring here with me but I'm not ready yet because I've got to, when I've got one they're going to have my total attention. Yeah, I can see a great big cow up there. See, there, there are, there are still cows about. Over and out.